Hi YouTube, welcome back to the next episode of the Sims 4 Joy of Life Challenge. We are back again in today's episode and guys, have I got some serious piping hot tea to spill with you all today. It's gonna be very, very exciting. But you might also notice some messages right over here and these are from my friends over on Twitch, which is actually where I stream this series live. The link will be in the description of this video if you wanna go ahead and check me out over there. And if you wanna go ahead and check out my main YouTube channel, there'll also be a link to that one as well. That is where I upload all my edited Sims videos um, and you know, tutorials and mods videos and all that other stuff. So yeah, you're more than welcome to go ahead and subscribe over on that YouTube channel. But without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right in because Mm, I need to spill this tea as soon as possible because I've had this like prepping in the works for a, a long, long time. So I need it to be spilled so that I can get it off my chest and talk about it. So guys, if you remember in the last episode, Reese is also looking like a huge snack. I'm sorry, everybody just realized, I, I don't know what he's looking at right now. He's complaining about something. Hi YouTube. Michelle, what, <laughs> what are you doing? Another hundred dollars? Oh my god. Okay, I'm literally <laughs> I'm literally astounded right now. That is two hundred dollars and ten gifted subs, Michelle. That is crazy. That is absolutely ago, wild. Watching from Costa Rica on holiday. <gasps> oh, Kylie, I love that. I love that. Hold on. I, I will come back and I will say thank you to everyone as well. That is that is a lot. That is a lot. Yeah, that's a lot of man and also a lot of money as well. Thank you so much, Michelle. I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Um, also thank you to Kylie with the tier one for 10 months. And I also hope you have an amazing holiday. I'm jealous. Costa Rica. Ugh, I need to get on holiday like immediately. <laughs> okay, so catching up where we were, my loves. Um, we have a whole, oh, sorry, <laughs> it's, it's too much. I've got to look away. So we have a whole damn snack going on right here. This is Reese, which obviously you guys should know him. Um, so he's just, you know, he went and answered the door. It was uh, quite early in the morning and Regina has come over. She's uh, feeling a little like, you know, uncomfortable about the whole situation, you know, like, especially yeah. since she didn't expect Reese to look as he does. Because let me tell you, Reese had a serious glow up since um, they were in, you know, like, yeah, exactly, Brit. Like, uh, Reese, <laughs> Reese kind of glew up just a, just a tiny amount um, between leaving school and now. And obviously, it's like a year later or so. Now, she hasn't actually seen Reese. Charlotte and Regina, they were friends in high school, so they've stayed friends for a long time. Um, but yeah, Reese, she hadn't seen. So um, she's come over and obviously, as as expected, she is astounded by by um, by Reese's body. And actually, one important thing to know is that Reese has actually always had a crush on Regina. Um, from the first minute that he saw her in school, he's always had a crush on her. So the fact that she's come over and like he's seeing her and he's like in his like, you know, like uh, pajamas with these little socks on and everything. He was like kind of shocked that she was at the door. But she made a point of saying that she really needs to talk to Charlotte as soon as possible because she needs to tell her something. So, um, okay, uh, I'm gonna send I'm gonna send the younger kids off to high school today by themselves because we've got to spill the tea first and then tomorrow we'll go with them because there's too much tea to spill right now. So yeah, Regina has said that she really needs to talk to Charlotte and uh, Reese was like, yeah, actually I think um, I think Charlotte's upstairs with, with her boyfriend. Um, like if you wanna just like go on up. So we're just gonna take over Regina a second and we're just gonna, you know. We're just gonna have her go on upstairs, which actually I'm pretty sure Charlotte was in the middle of doing the dirty with her boyfriend, which I actually think she has stopped now. Uh, Raylan, her boyfriend, is in with her mum talking to talking to her. Um, I, I'm pretty sure Raylan slept over last night as well. Um, also, Charlotte got a new outfit, so she's looking cute as ever. Anyway, so Regina, oh, Regina's feeling a little flirty. Regina's feeling a little flirty around Reese. Okay, you know what? Just, just, just on the side. I'm just. Oh my god! I think she finds him really attractive. Hold on, I need to know what's going on here. I'm just gonna have her give him a quick little flirt. I'm gonna have her compliment his appearance a little bit and just be like, you know, I'll, I, you know, I didn't, didn't even recognize you. You know, you, you look, you look so good. You know, <laughs> just as like a little sideline. I need to talk to your sister, but also, by the way, you're looking so freaking good. I'm just gonna have her, you know, give him, give him the, just, just give him a little, give him a little compliment. 
and uh, she also learned that he's unflirty. So he probably like took that, you know, like on the side. He was like, oh no, you know, not that big of a deal. He's probably quite humble about it. Anyways, I'm going upstairs. So Charlotte, I really need to talk to you. Okay. And it, I need, I need, uh, I need Raylan to go. <laughs> okay. I need Raylan to be gone. Okay. It's very important. I wish I was Regina. <laughs> Hi Nani, welcome in. How are you doing? <gasps> Thank you so much for the resub with Prime for six months, Simone. And Naomi with the gifted sub as well. Thank you guys so much. If we could get some love in the chat for them as well. All right, she's going to come in. Where did Charlotte go? Oh, damn. She's in there. Okay, that's really awkward. She's going to be like, oh, hi, Charlotte. Oh, hi, Raylan. Um, okay, just don't be suspicious. I'm just going to have her come in. And just like, you know, just not be suspicious at all. We're just going to make small talk. And we're just going to ask her about her day. And uh, be like, oh, not Raylan talking to Neve again. It's actually so suspicious how he's always trying to talk to her, really. Raylan, go away. We have to talk about you behind your back. It's the fact that he's standing right here. And Rita's like, oh, hey, what are you guys talking about? <laughs> it's the fact that we're all standing. Oh, my God. Look at look at Neve. It's the fact that we're all standing inside... <laughs> mom's room please could we just leave like i don't need everyone in this conversation okay listen um charlotte we we need to go out and talk okay babes i need you to come with me and we need to go somewhere okay i'm just gonna ask her if she wants to travel with me can i do that i'm gonna add her to the group um and i'm just gonna say like can we can we just go out somewhere because i really need to talk to you right now um it's very, very important. I'm gonna have a, yeah, I'm gonna have a deep conversation with her and explain that I need to go out and talk to her privately. Oh, yeah. Hi, Cookie Bear, welcome Should in, how are you? Could you lower the music? Yeah, of course, hold on, let me lower the music a little bit. Um, yeah. Is that better? Hopefully it is, it's a little bit quieter. Rainbow, thank you so much for the Prime sub, welcome in, okay, thank you, thank then. you. Perhaps. Okay, yeah, I think she's saying, yeah, yeah, sure, of course we can go out. She's learned that Charlotte is clever. So from my guess, Charlotte's been like, yeah, sure, like, are you okay? Is that like a reason, is there a reason why? And she's like, oh, no, 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 I just need to, you know, I just need to talk to you. Um, So we're just going to go and say like, oh, um, yeah, anyways, Raylan, uh, I'm going to have her be, be friendly with him. I'm just going to have her say like, oh, I just need to, you know, talk to... Charlotte, um, a second. I don't even want to talk to him, to be honest. I'm just probably just going to walk away. <laughs> Anyways, we're going out, Charlotte. So come with me. <laughs> My brother and I are going to our mom's room to bother. <laughs> All right. Uh, where should we take her to have a chat? Let's go to the lounge. That'll probably be the easiest place to have this conversation. Um, okay, let's go. In the meantime, she's looking to Reese like, how could I never have noticed him? I mean, come on. The Reese's glow up was quite impeccable. It was quite something. <laughs> Wait, what happened? We have we haven't we haven't disclosed what has happened yet. It's it's not it's not quite been disclosed, but just wait for it. Just wait for it. <laughs> okay, let's go sit down. I think she's gonna say, you know what? I think we should just go grab a drink, you know, like, and Charlotte probably be like, it's a bit early, but, um, you know, we're going to go order a drink for both of us, order drinks for both of us. Let's just do, um, let's just do a martini for both of them. It's a, it's an early 9am drink, but it's, <laughs> it's an important conversation to have. Charlotte's flame dress. Doesn't she look so freaking good in that dress? Is she coming over? I think so. Um, come on over. Also, can we just talk about the fact that um, Charlotte currently has the want to get engaged to Raylan. So even though he's had all of these red flags, I mean, you guys remember on holiday when we brought him along, he was just being weird. She still wants to get engaged to him. But also, um, she still wants to talk over relationship fears with him because she has a fear of being cheated on. Uh, which has been like a issue that she's had in the relationship basically since they got together because I, I don't really think she trusts him that much. So, yeah. <laughs> All right, let's sit down. Babes, grab the martini, okay? Because you are really going to need it for this conversation. Um, let, let me let me 
Let me tell you some really important <laughs> tea that I've got. All right, we're gonna sit down and be like, look, Charlotte, okay? I didn't know how to tell you this, but I I'm gonna have them start having a deep conversation with each other just to make it make sense. Um, so I'll have her have a deep conversation with her. So listen, I was out on the weekend and uh, me well, and who, who is her, who's her friend, Tamia? Me and Tamia were out and we were out at a club and obviously you were busy on the weekend, so obviously you didn't come. But out at the club, was actually Raylan. And you are never gonna guess who or what he oh, was wow. doing at the club. Yeah. And, you know, I really didn't wanna have to say this and Charlotte, <laughs> Charlotte, she just learned that Charlotte has the jealous trait. That is so funny, considering I'm saying this. Um, Listen, okay, I don't know what you and Raylan have got going on. You know, I'm guessing it's not an open relationship, but I really think you need to know about this, okay? It's really important. So I'm gonna have a go share a secret with her because I'm, <laughs> let me tell you, this tea is this tea is quite quite hot, okay? I'm gonna have her do the gossip. Regina chugging a drink. She's like feeling so awkward about the situation. Oh my god, look, she's telling her about heartbreak. Oh my god. Oh no. Okay, and then I also, I need to show you some pictures because. Listen, I don't, you know, I don't know for sure that it was Raiden. It really looked like him, but I, I got some pictures to show you. So I'm gonna see if we can share photos with her. And guys, you need to see these photos. Oh, Let me tell you, that. you need to see these photos right now. These are the photos. This is the evidence, by the way, that she's got stacked up in her inventory. She, 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 came, she came with the receipts. <laughs> she really did. She was like, look, okay, I got some pictures. I need you to have a look at these. Put the drink down. It's really important for this one. Okay, look, she's showing her. Like, she's like, I don't know for sure that it's it's Raylan. You know, like you can have a look and see what you think. So I'm going to pull them out and show you guys. I should be able to just, actually, can I do that? Oh no, I might need to like actually give her them as a gift. Okay, it's fine. So don't worry. So we're going to give gift. Can we do that? I want to give gift. Let me just look up gift. Wait, can I not give her them as a gift? Damn it. I need to do this. <laughs> right, hold on. Uh, affection, give gift. There we go. Friend I wonder why that wasn't working. Um, okay, yep. I'm just going to gift her the... I'm just going to gift her them. <laughs> Regina should work for the CIA. I love the fact that she got photos of it. Okay, we're giving her it as like a, you know, as a gift, you know, but just ignore this. Just ignore Hello. that it's like, oh, so cute. It's not that exciting, okay? She's not she's not that excited over it. But anyways, the, the receipts are here. Let's go ahead and have a look at it. Right, here is here is one of the pieces of evidence. Where Where's a free wall? Where's a free wall? This is what she showed her on her phone, but obviously I can't show you guys what she saw. So here is what she showed her on her phone. Now it might be a little blurry, you know, it also was taken in the club. It was also quite dark, but I, I am pretty sure that is Raylan. And I am pretty sure that ain't Charlotte because Charlotte does not have short hair like that. Okay, let, let me tell you. <laughs> oh my God, that little rat. Now, yeah, so. Anyways, after this situation happened, right? Regina went and did some digging. So she's, okay, I'm really sorry, but this lady needs to get out of the conversation. So she went and she did a little bit of digging, okay? And she said, well, look, so obviously I wanted to find out who this girl was. So the day after we went to the club, I went and checked his following list, okay? And I just so noticed that someone new had followed him and sh she looked just like the girl on Instagram. okay? Look, now cool. this, is the, this is the girly, okay? So I'm gonna give you her Instagram so you can have a look and like you can do whatever you want with this information, you know? Um, but I don't know if you wanna like talk to him about it or like, you know, get some proof off the girl first. So we're gonna give Charlotte the information she needs and then, yeah, she's going to go and uh, have a discussion about it. So the girl that we are talking about here in this picture, I need to work out a way of adding her <laughs> on Instagram. I kind of want to do it on Social Bunny, but I I'm trying to work out how I'm going to do it. 
Oh my God, the drama, Gossip Girl Who. Um, okay, so how am I gonna do it? I want the I want the evidence first. Um, hmm. Okay, I might have to like cheat this in a way where it makes sense. Okay, so I might have to like cheat the girl to be here and then, yeah, okay, hold on. So, isn't that the girl Reese was into? No, no, this is a new girl. You guys won't know her. <laughs> you, you can't physically know her, but let me tell you, she's so freaking cute. <laughs> she's so cute. Okay, right, hold on. So I'm gonna teleport a sim. I'm gonna teleport a world sim to this sim. Okay, and I'm trying to remember what her name was. Um, I might need to go into manage worlds to work this out, guys. <laughs> If Reef, if Reef found out, he'd be so mad. He really would. He he would be so mad. I mean, I don't know if we're actually going to tell him. I don't know. We'll see. Um, let me go into Manage Worlds. And I'm just going to see if I can find her. Let me go. Just Manage Worlds. <laughs> Tiff with the five stream streak. Thank you so much, my love. Thank you. Thank you. Which challenge do you recommend to play? I mean, of course, I'm playing The Joy of Life right now. So I kind of do recommend that. But also the... Um, the whimsy extended uh, story, the whimsy extended challenge as well is really good. Okay, so this girl, her name is, her last name is Aseda. This is actually her right here. Um, I need to work out what her first name is. Okay, I'm gonna go into Cass with her and then I'm just gonna work out what her name was. Okay, Yara, that was it. I can't believe I can't remember her name. Okay, her name's Yara, hold on. <laughs> Hi Rain, welcome in, how you doing? Okay, right, so I need to go back to playing with Charlotte. So I need to work out a way where Charlotte can add her on Simstagram, but not like know her in person. And I think the only way of me doing that is to have them like, you know, know each other a little bit. Damn it, she is hot. Yeah, she is. <laughs> wow, she's pretty. The beauty of two monitors and a phone with Twitch on it to watch the both of y'all. Oh, that's so sweet, Mrs. Dredd. Uh, Josie, thank you for the hydrate as well. Let me go ahead and hydrate. Regina is that friend from the FBI. Honestly, I'm so happy that we have Regina. Let me tell you though, Regina has so many more receipts. Like she has so many more pictures. I'm trying to, I'm wondering if there's like an easier way where I can like pull them out. I wish I could like add them to favorites, but I can't even properly see them. I don't understand why I can't pull them out, like just because they're in her inventory. I'm not sure. I'm really not sure. I, I can't pull them out. I wish I could give her all of the pictures, but there's there's more than just that picture over there. Um. Okay, right. So I need a way of Charlotte knowing this girl, but not like no knowing her. So we're going to do a cheat. We're going to do a cheat. Yeah, it must be because she's not part of our household, you're right. Okay, you know what? Is there a way where Regina could know her and then mention her? Can't yeah, it's I'm gonna do that. Four months I'm gonna do that. I've been really ill lately. Ford got acute pneumonia on antibiotics at the main no. hospital as well. No! Oh, Emma, I'm so sorry to hear that. I hope you get better soon. Oh, no. Hey, hon, how are you doing today? Hi, Tiff. I'm good, thank also, you. Is child -free for oh, over the whole weekend. that's so exciting. Time that. and playing games are and so will be quiet, but looking stunning as per hun. Oh, I love you, Tiff. Thank you so much, my love. Thank you, thank you. Regina, actually kind of nice and a good friend. Regina is probably one of the, the best friends. You, you would think that she's not based around how she looks. But in terms of her traits, I mean, if we have a look, um, she is loyal. She's also extroverted and she's also a genius. So not only is she really smart, she comes across as like, you know, like a bitch, you know, like one of those people that you just come across and you're like, I feel like you're not going to be nice, but she's one of those people that's like really surprises you. You expect because she's like, you know, well, well off. She comes from like a, you know, you know, a family with money basically that she's going to be kind of up herself, but she's actually a really nice girl. Like she's very loyal. Um, okay. So let me teleport a world sim. Um, so her name is Yara. Uh, she should be down here. Yasmin, Yara. Right, okay, so I'm gonna teleport Yara to her. Okay, and then I'm gonna get her out of here. There's, <laughs> there's a lot going on here. Right, you, you leave, you leave. Leave, Charlotte, you gotta go, babes. You gotta go. 
Okay. And then Regina is going to know this girl at least friendship levels, set friendly. I'm going to set to, to disliked because she she's automatically not going to like this girl. She doesn't really know her, but she's seen her. So that's that's enough for them. Okay, Yara's in there. Right, that's good. Right, then I'm gonna then I'm gonna send Yara away. Right, goodbye, Yara. <laughs> I can't believe normally if I was making an actual YouTube video out of this, I could have cut all of this bit out. But you guys have to see this on the stream. So just imagine that we didn't just teleport Yara here and all this stuff went down, okay? This was just, you know, this was just for the for the story development going on. Have you updated the bakery? I have uh, not since you've last seen it. I don't think it's changed at all. Hi, Sierra. Welcome in. How are you? Okay, so I think I can go in and gossip and ask about another sim. And now I should be able to ask her if she knows Yara. So I should be able to go in and be like, I don't know if you know this girl, you know, like obviously, you know, like I worked out her name. I saw, yeah, I know. I love how Charlotte's drunk right now. Babe, seriously. <laughs> Hi, Laura. Welcome in. How are you doing? Every time I watch these streams, it makes me desperately need to play The Sims. Oh, I love that, though. That's good. YouTube will see the more clean version. Yeah, they'll see, like, the no, you know, no cheating version. Okay, she's asking if she, like, knows this Yara girl. I don't know if she's going to say whether she knows her or not. I haven't had the pleasure of meeting Yara. She's just like, okay, no, I don't know this Yara girl. Does she have her in here? No, she doesn't. Is there a way where I can have her know of Yara? I need to add her and like send her a DM. How can I do this? I'm gonna have to cheat her back and like have her know of her. Um. Okay, right, hold on. <laughs> I've got to do this. I hate having to do this. Why in The Sims can you not know of a Sim without physically meeting them? You should be able to know of a Sim without having to actually meet them. I wish, wait, actually, I wonder if I have any mods. Do you guys know, do I have any mods installed where I can go in and like on social media and find a Sim? Do I have that? Meet them, add her on social bunny and then you, you use UI cheats to delete their relationships. Yes, maybe. Charlotte is so petty, the pleasure of me. Yeah, honestly, the fact that she said it like that. <laughs> oh, she's such a queen for that one. Um, Yeah, okay, we're gonna have to do that. Yep, you're right. Okay, let's do it now. Right, so. We're going to teleport, uh, no, teleport a world sim to her. We're teleporting Yara. I want to also know what her first impression of Yara is. I feel like that would also be kind of interesting. Sorry, Yara's like stuck in the fountain. Um, I'm going to have her give her a rude introduction. Actually, no, no. Yeah, yeah. Hold on. Wait. I'm going to go in here. Relationships. Add friendly acquaintance right okay so now she's on now that's good right now we we get rid of yara <laughs> um and then we we cheat and we make her leave <laughs> and we saw nothing right guys yara was never here also just a quick little close-up of yara in case we want to know just imagine what her simstagram looked like just imagine this girl's simstagram like just just imagine it just imagine but just just pretend she wasn't here okay she, she wasn't here anyways she's still <laughs> she pulled out a glass of wine i didn't know she also got a glass of wine she was like okay i need another drink for this sort of information <laughs> all right so now charlotte is gonna need to go i'm just gonna wait for yara to actually disappear yep she's gone i'm just gonna have charlotte go you know she's just gonna go on her social bunny we're gonna open up social bunny and we're going to friends. We're going to add to contact list. We're going to add this Yara girl. Hmm? Who is this Yara? Where is she? Why is she not showing up on here? <laughs> Why is she not on here? Is it because there's already too many Sims on there? Let me just let me just add other people to like free up some room. Um, let me add in Ginger. Okay, can I fit Yara on here now? Why is Yara not on here? Guys, how does this work? I think you need to have a friendly relationship. Do you really? There's no way you need to have a friendly relationship to add somebody on now. There's a mod for knowing people without meeting them. Steph, can you tell me the name of that? 
Please tell me the name <laughs> that I need to know. I'm just gonna give them 10 friendship then because I can delete the relationship afterwards. And then, oh, it doesn't let me add my enemies in game. Why though? I mean, I guess to be honest, would your enemies really accept your friend request? Maybe not. Um, oh, you're right. Okay, right. Now we add Yara. Okay, listen. And then I'm pretty sure we can just cheat the friendship down to there. Can I now remove the friendship? And s would she still stay added? I don't know. I don't know if that's going to be a thing. <gasps> Magical trait. Thank you so much for the tier one for 33 months. That is absolutely crazy. Thank you. Thank you. And kisses for, uh, for Rain with the prime sub for eight months. And baby panda with the prime sub for 29 freaking months. Okay, we'll keep them on social, buddy. So if I go ahead and just like delete this relationship, yes. I'm ho really hoping it will stay and I don't have to do all of that again. I'll just check. Friends. It doesn't, it deleted her. Damn it, did it really? Let me just try and message her. Damn it, it did. Oh, I'm so sorry guys, I'm gonna need to redo it. Um, It's fine, it's fine. Right, command teleport i was hoping that i could imagine that she didn't know her what would you think that she could you know like have a sim added but not know of them in person that really bothers me i'm i'm sure there's a mod to do it but it's fine it's whatever and let me take a second to fix it um okay right relationships active i'll give them just liked i guess and then i'll get rid of them <laughs> Hi, Emin. Welcome in. Happy Women's Day. How you doing? Uh, okay, make you leave. And then I'm just going to add her. Do you have the immersive social bunny? I do. Yeah, I do have that one. I know, exactly. Social bunny would have been the perfect sister to me. On, like, that's what I'm confused about. Why you can't, like, you know, add sims that... I, I don't understand why you couldn't just add townies on there. Like, I feel like there should be, like, a feed of townies where they post stuff. You remember in um on the sims 3 wasn't there there was something on the sims 3 where you could do that where there was a social media and like all the townies were on there i we need that we need it all right yara let me add you on here okay girly let me just let me just get you on here and then i'll cheat their relationship down to zero you can talk t really no way i did not know that you could talk to sims you don't know on the computer i did not know that Hold on. Since when? Since when? Julia, welcome in. How you doing? I'm just in the middle of spilling some tea. Okay, right. She's going to go and open her social bunny and be like, right, is this the Yara girl you're talking about? Is this her name? Yara Estada? She's going to be like, yeah, yeah. And she's going to be like, okay, I'm just going to message her then. So she's going to go and... um. Okay, I'm trying to imagine how Charlotte would hand this, handle the situation. I actually feel like she would give her a friendly message and be like, hi, look, um, you know, I added you because um, my friend mentioned uh, that you know a guy called Raylan. Uh, you might see him in some like my profile pictures. Uh, yeah, like the hey girly, you know, like the classic. So I'm going to go and send her a message. I wonder what she actually wrote. Um, okay, we're just going to ignore the actual message that she wrote. But she sent her a little DM, you know, a little message. She's jealous though. Would she be nice? I think she would be nice to start off with. Yeah, if she... It depends if she knows that, she, that he had a girlfriend or not. Right, so she sent her a message, right? And we're just going to imagine that this conversation has gone backwards and forwards, okay? There's, there's a conversation being had. There's DMs being sent. Um between uh yara and charlotte okay oh, and obviously um obviously oh, regina she's also like overlooking this whole conversation she's sitting next to her like looking over her phone and being like oh yeah say this say this <laughs> like the classic girl stuff a panda thank you so much for the follow welcome in how are you doing <laughs> Is she okay? I don't know what she's doing. Oh my God, what, what happened to the drink? <laughs> I'm just gonna ignore it. <laughs> All right, now we're gonna go and send her another little message. I'm gonna send Yara a message. Okay, we're gonna keep being friendly. So we're gonna be like, look, um, by the way, I heard that you was out on Saturday and you got with this guy um, called, what's his name? <laughs> Raylan. <laughs> 
And uh, I don't know if you see him in my profile picture, but that's actually my boyfriend. So I was just wondering, like, what happened, like, what went down, you know, like, you know, or whether you knew that he had a girlfriend or anything like that. And then I kind of imagine Yara being like a sweet girl and being like, oh, hey, yeah, yeah, like, I know Raylan. If you want to, you know, like, call me and talk about it, then then you can, you know, like, here's my number. You can call me and talk about it, you know, like, we can go through everything. So Yara is being like, a, like, a boss ass girly, you know, like, she's being great. So I'm just going to have them go back and forth and send some texts with each other. She's being really helpful. She's giving a, yeah, she's a girl's girl. And she's going to be like, look, if you want to talk over anything, like, I can explain everything over the phone. I think it'll, you know, be easier. Um, so they're going to go and, and chat on the phone. And obviously, at this point, Yara's, Yara's spilling the tea. And she's going to be like, look, um, I didn't know he had a girlfriend, okay? Obviously, he was, like, out, you know, like, with his friends. And, um, yeah, like, he got with me. You know, he came up to me, obviously said I was pretty. Like, we danced together. We kissed. Um, I didn't go home with him. Nothing else happened. But we did kiss. And, obviously, like, we danced together at the club. And, like, you know, he bought me a drink and whatever else. But we didn't sleep together. Um, so obviously, Charlotte's like, okay, right. <laughs> like, getting filled in on this tea. And as you can imagine, this is then going to make... Hold on, we're going to have to add this in. Because Sims, I would really love if you, you could add this in, but that's fine. Um, you can imagine that this is making um, our girl really angry. She's she's pissed. She's pissed about this. So where are we going? We're going for angry. We're gonna go for we're gonna go for very angry. It's pretty it's pretty severe, and we're gonna cheat. Yeah, we wanna we wanna be very angry. Okay, and then I'm gonna get rid of these. I'm gonna get rid of these ones, and then we're gonna be focused on being angry. We're furious right now. <laughs> Don't ever take a drink from Raylan the last girl who did that died. Oh yeah, yeah, you can see her now. Like she's get she's guessing madder and madder about this conversation. She's gonna be like this. Are you are you kidding me? What he came up to you and uh, you know asked you for a drink? Did he tell you that he had a girlfriend? And Yara's gonna be like, no no no, like he didn't mention anything about having a girlfriend or anything. She's gonna be like, right, thank you so much for the information. Like I really appreciate you know you calling me. She's also kind of drunk at this moment in time as well because she's she's drunk too many. It's now twelve o'clock. It's gone from nine o'clock in the morning drinks to twelve o'clock. Um, so we're gonna have to go home and we need we need to hash this out, okay? So Regina's gonna go home because she's she's still day drinking. <laughs> she left, you know, she gave all the information that she needed to, and we appreciate her doing that. She also gave us the receipts. Um, so I am just gonna have uh Charlotte go up and give her a huge hug and just say, like, thank you so much. Express our admiration for her, no. just tell her what a good friend she is for telling us and letting us know. Um but yeah, just basically saying that we need to go like have a conversation with him um, because he's being a, a little little bee. And also I'm going to share the gossip with her as well and tell her like about what happened. Let's hope Raylan is gone when she goes home. Well, she actually wants to confront him. So I'm kind of thinking that maybe she's hoping that he's not gone. Like maybe she's hoping that he's still at home. I really should have installed a mod though where you can add sims on social media even if you don't know them <laughs> but that's fine honestly all the mods are broken right now so so it's fine okay we've said thank you to her i really wish i could give her a hug i don't know why i think it's because she's so angry she's so um like distracted by it um so yeah we're gonna go in we're gonna also share our insecurities with her and be like okay can this guy get out of the conversation i'm sorry we're gonna be like look you know, I was really worried about this for a really long time. You know, like I'd been, I'd spoken to him about cheating on me. I told him how I would handle the situation. You know, I told him I was worried about him cheating on me. He's always reassured me and said, there's nothing to worry about. And she's going to be like, look, you've got to do what's best for you. You know, like she's giving her that like great girl advice. Um, So we've got to go, we've got to go have a conversation with, with our guy. So she's going to, she's going to go home. Uh, exactly. I, and let me tell you, especially on women's day today is it international women's day <laughs> especially on women's day as a woman you've got to go with your gut instinct l let, let's just say that and today that gut instinct for charlotte has come uh, it's it's coming lucky okay because she she already knew 
before she got told this information or she already had suspicions. That's the reason that she had this fear for such a long time. She just knew there was something about him that wasn't trustworthy. Um, and you know, that, that was important. So she's gonna go home. I don't know if Raylan's still gonna be there. If he is, then I guess it's going down at the house. If not, I'm gonna like invite him out to like a park or something. And then we're gonna have that conversation somewhere else. <laughs> Need better hide her kitchen knives. Oh, you can just imagine the argument going down in Charlotte's bedroom. Like I could just imagine the screaming match between Raylan and uh, and Charlotte. I feel like it's gonna go down. Um, Missy Elena, thank you so much for the follow, and also um, Eva Sims with the follow as well. Thank you guys so much for the follows. Welcome in as well. Oh my god, what's the mod that lets you take out the other sims out of the conversation? It is a mod by the Pancake. Um, I can't remember the exact name of it. I think it's for like remove sims from conversation or something. It's like a, a really descriptive name, you know? Um, okay, I'm just going to uh, check if Raylan's here, which he is not. So, okay, guys, should I invite uh, Raylan round or should I go out somewhere? How do you think she would handle this situation? Would she invite him round somewhere? Like, how, how is this going to work? Has she got any other hot weather? Well, oh, I haven't done the rest of her outfits. Damn it. I, did I not do all of her outfits? No, I must have stopped halfway. That's fine. <laughs> Take him. Um, that mod is worth it. For his safety, better be out somewhere. Invite is better. You think so? Okay, let me... Um, action. I wish I could like, yeah, actually I can just go in here. Travel, um, travel with Raylan and he should just join along. Raylan will see you there. He has no suspicions right now. No suspicions. All right, let's take him. Um, I think I'm actually going to take him to the beach and we're gonna walk up from the beach like i don't know if we'll actually have the conversation on the beach or whether we're actually gonna like go somewhere near here <laughs> do you have extreme violence just asking no and also i'm pretty sure all the mods are broken the issue is i wanted this you know like this whole situation to play out but a lot of the mods i had in mind were also broken so, um, also the reason why, like, I delayed this episode for so long was because none of the mods were working. And I wasn't prepared to go through this entire thing whilst the mods weren't working, you know? Like, it was just gonna be, it was not gonna be great. Right, okay, he's here. Listen, Raylan, we need, we need to go sit down somewhere. Um, I'm wondering where will be best to have this conversation. Let's go over here. This is, like, kinda out of the way. We're gonna go sit together over here. Ew, there's the smelly little rat himself. She's also really drunk right now as well. <laughs> she's also really drunk. I'm going to leave her so that she's furious though. Control him as well. I kind of don't want to. Oh, he why is he so sad? Okay, how does this man have the audacity to be sad right now? I'm sorry. He doesn't even know what's coming. He's going to be seriously sad in a second. You just wait. <laughs> Do it in front of the heart statue, the irony. <laughs> All right, he's following her over. Let's have them go sit. Oh, the, go the kids are still at school. I forgot about that. Oh my God, she's pissed. She's going to be like, look, I just had a really interesting conversation with, um, with Regina, okay? And you need to start being honest with me, okay? You need to, you need to start being honest. I'm going to have her just go in and uh, she's going to... Uh, I don't... I'm going to have her go in and um, yell at him a second, okay? She's just going to go in and be like, you know, I've had, a, I've had some sort of conversation with Regina and you've got a, you know, you've got a lot of explaining to do. Oh my God, he's arguing back. He's yelling back at her. Oh, he's like, oh, you better not be starting this conversation with, like, speaking to me like this. Oh, you... Mm -mm -mm. Hold on. We we've got to go in with this. Right. I need to know... Okay, I need to know what the hell is going on between you and this Yara girl. Okay, what, what's going on between you and this Yara girl? Because I've just seen pictures 
of you bumping and grinding with this Yara girl with her ass all over you, you know, while you were at the club while I was away. Oh, what's he going to come up with? Oh, come on, give me the excuse. What's he going to say? Darling, you're worrying over nothing. We're just friends. Oh, you're just friends, are you? You're just friends. Oh, that's oh, that's what he said. He Let's said we. Kill Reeling and see if his blood <laughs> is as red as his flags. Okay, Ryan, I, I might kill him after <laughs> after I'm finished. <laughs> after I'm finished, I might kill him. Okay, hold on. Let me keep going with the means. Um. Right, we need to argue, okay? We are going to argue about um, their differences, okay? Because clearly they are, they are very different. So there is no freaking way that this guy, by the way, is trying to excuse this situation. He's trying to act like it didn't happen. She's arguing with him. She still wants to get engaged to him. Oh, no. And he's just lying about it. He's like, we're just friends, you know, like me and Yara. She's going to be like, okay, no friend has their ass all over you, okay? You're supposed to be in a relationship with me. There's no way. In fact, I've already spoken to Yara. I added her on, you know, on Instagram. I found her and we've already spoken about it. He's just like lying about it. There's no way. I can't believe he thinks he's getting away with it. I'm going to go in and control him. Oh my God, he's feeling lustful, the audacity of him. Um, okay, I'm gonna have him. Um, oh, what should I do? Um, okay, I'm gonna have him gaslight her a little bit. He's gonna like belittle her anger, you know? Um, and he's gonna be like, you know, like, you know, you've been so insecure our entire relationship. You've always been worried about me cheating. You know, maybe the reason why I was dancing with this girl is because, you know, I feel so suffocated in the relationship because you're always like, oh, Raylan, are you cheating on me? Oh, I'm so worried. I don't know if you're gonna be loyal, you know, like maybe just imagine the pressure that that puts on me in the relationship. <laughs> and now he's oh my god he's trying to joke with her there's no freaking <laughs> we should bring yari here no i'm gonna have her go in and uh i'm gonna have her say it again she's gonna be like look i just need you to be honest with me did, did you kiss her did did you kiss her because she has said that you kissed her did, did you kiss her and the i'm gonna have him go in and he's gonna admit, he's gonna admit that he kissed her. Uh, he's going to confess having kissed Yara. He's gonna say, "Okay, yeah, me and you know me and Yara kissed, but it didn't go any further than that. Like it was just a kiss." Um, we're gonna see how she takes this. Oh no, she's heartbroken. Oh no. Oh, oh, no, she's crying. She's like, I knew it. I knew it. I knew the re the reason why I've been so worried. Oh, my God. Now he wants to have public woohoo. He's disgusting. After all this, oh, no, unfaithful love. Charlotte's significant other has cheated on her and she thought the relationship was heading somewhere. Oh, no, my baby. Flirty spouse. Charlotte's spouse, I, I love how she called her spouse, was flirting with another. How have, the have they been doing this behind her back? Oh my god. He still thinks he can get woohoo talk through issues. No, 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 no. Um I'm going to have her shove him. Okay, she's going to shout some forbidden words at him because he is just disgusting to her right now. Throw a drink over him. <laughs> I don't even know where she pulled that drink out of. And slap him. I don't think there is an interaction to slap him. I really wish there was. I wish I wish the Sims interaction weren't so PG. Insult his face, Gia. Oh, I really wish there was a slap interaction. It's fine. We can just chew him out. We'll just verbally, verbally discuss it. Oh, I'm sorry. He feels suffocated. He was stalking her at the beginning of the relationship. Also, we took him away on holiday. Let, let's just let's just remember that bit. We took him away on a skiing holiday. Like, mm. Okay, I'm gonna have, um, ooh, okay, now there's, a, now there's a lot of options. Ask reasons for having cheated. 
Ask if more than flirting happened. Confront about flirting with others. Ask reasons for having cheated. She's going to be like, so you really kissed this girl all because you felt suffocated because I was worried that you cheated. Do you understand the reason that I was worried? Why, you know, why you cheated? Okay, now Raylan has the opportunity to say the reason why. So he can say out of staleness or boredom that they seduced Raylan and he failed to, uh, failed to resist. He, they don't, uh, Raylan isn't satisfied by the woohoo. Raylan craved more attention. He was intoxicated, it simply happened. Um, another reason, there's no love left between them. He wanted to sleep with someone else for once. What do we do? So the way that I imagine it is he felt so suffocated in the relationship because she's always asking him if he's cheated. And in the end, he actually did it. So what do we think based on, based on how he's been? You think he'd blame Yara? Do you think he'd go and say like that she, that she seduced him? You think? <sighs> yeah, exactly. He doesn't like that she thinks he'll cheat, so he cheats. Way to prove him wrong, Raylan. Blame or intoxicated? Maybe the intoxicated one, or she seduced him. I mean, intoxicated would make sense. He's he's there, and yeah, but also. They seduced him. Okay, I'm going to say that they seduced, you know. I'm going to say, you know, like, she came on to me. She was so interested in me. By the way, it wasn't true. The actual way that it happened was Raylan. Uh, it was exactly what Yara said. Like, Raylan went over to her, bought her a drink, told her she was really pretty. Um, obviously, Yara didn't know that he had a girlfriend. Um, she, did she did ask, and he said that he didn't have a girlfriend. So, you know, he kind of, like, ruined himself there. Um... And then, like, kept going on, you know, like, calling her really pretty, saying how attractive she was all night. And then, obviously, they started drinking together. Then um, the dancing turned into a kiss. And then that was just it. It was left. So, yeah, I'm going to have him lie and say that, that Yara seduced him and that he just couldn't resist it. She was just, you know, she, I, I was drunk. She, you know, I, you know, she bought me a drink. Yeah, yeah, okay. <laughs> Charlotte's like, well, listen, okay, listen. Yara's told me something completely different. And at this point, I think I actually believe this Yara girl more than I believe you. Okay, because she's clearly got no, you know, sh she has no loyalties here, you know? Like, she's not gonna try and be mean to me for no reason. She's not gonna make up a lie. Raylan, this is on you, okay? This is on you. <laughs> and then we can have her go in with, I'm going to, I'm gonna yell at him about the situation, okay? He'd cheat on his girlfriend for a drink. He's cheap. Oh, he's acting like so upset. There's no way he's arguing back with her. He's insulting her. No, 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 no. We're not done here. We are not done here. No, no, no. We are not done. Okay, I'm going to. Um. I'm gonna ask if more than flirting happened. I'm going to say, like, did anything more than that kiss happened? Like, was it just the kiss? Did you, did you sleep with her? Like, you know, how far did it go? What did he say? Is he answering it? He is absolutely the type to blame Yara. You could just imagine that this guy's like trying to get out of every situation. She doesn't, she doesn't believe him, I don't think. I mean, I think she believes what Yara said because there's no reason for Yara to lie about it. Yara didn't know that he had a girlfriend, so, you know. Um, okay. I'm gonna refuse to forgive him for cheating. I think for Charlotte, she, especially now as she's getting older, she knows her worth. Um, and she's gonna say, like, look, you, I've had, uh, you know, a worry that you were going to cheat on me for a long time and you have literally just proved me right. Uh, there's no trust here. You know, I deserve better. You are scum on the bottom of my shoe and you deserve to be with the most awful person. He's trying to joke with her. How is he trying to joke about this situation? There's no freaking way. I'm going to have a demand a separation with him. Um... No, actually, we're going to fully break up with him. Like, I'm just going to, like, cut it off now. We're going to just straight up 
we're gonna show you how to be mean and break up with him. Okay, she's breaking up with him. <laughs> Besides, she could do so much better. She needs to raise her standards. Uh, okay, can we go in and like fully break up with him? I want like I want it to be like off. I want it to be like done. There's no there's no coming back for this for her. She is she's done. She is going to um where would it be? Uh I'm guessing it's just maybe a mean. Yeah, just break up. Just just go through and just make it a thing. She's like, "Look, I can't do this. I can't be with you." You know, you just literally proved me right. <laughs> Everything that I was worried about the entire time. And on International Women's Day, by the way. <laughs> Okay, she broke up with Raylan. She has a lot of sentiment. Oh, I need to see these sentiments going on right now. Uh, where is he? I think he's like all the way down here. Oh, he is. Um, oh my God. <laughs> she's hurt. She's furious about cheating. She's deeply wounded. She's enraged that he kissed another. He's deeply wounded by her. He's deeply wounded by her. How? How does he, how does he have the audacity to be deeply wounded by her? He's just, he's just disgusting. He's just disgusting. I literally cannot believe him. Right, I'm gonna stop uh, controlling him now. I'm gonna have a go on. She's done. Because he thought, I bet he thought that she'd still stay with him. He's really trying to get the last word in. Look at him giving her the side eye. Like while she's walking home crying. Oh no, I feel so bad. Oh, my baby. And that was her, her first ever boyfriend as well. He's self-absorbed, only care about his own wants and needs. I know. Charlotte, lock your windows and board up your... <laughs> lock your doors and board up your windows. <laughs> Naomi, thank you so much for the gifted sub. Thank you, thank you. Um, Guys, can we get some love in the chat for Naomi as well, please? Do you have Sims dying by emotions on? Oh, no, I turn that off way too quick. I can't stand the fact that my Sims get upset about something and then they just conk it. That bothers me so much when that happens. So no, I don't allow that to happen. Um. Okay, I'm just gonna have Charlotte go inside. She's gonna she's gonna feel sad for herself. Okay, she's gonna. I mean, as deserved. I'm gonna have her go cry out in bed. Okay, because the, it's been a hard day. It's been a long day. She's sad, upset. She's, yeah. Oh no, I know that. I know that Sims can, I know that people can actually die of a broken heart. But the fact that my Sim gets so upset or like enraged about something, they just like, just die. It happens, but not very often. And in Sims, if you have those emotional deaths on, you best believe they're gonna be upset about a breakup and then they're gonna conk it immediately. Like no one is safe out here in the Sims world. And I can't be having that. It's too much. I can't, I, you can't have any drama going on if that's the case. <laughs> Okay, first of all, I am going to have Neve go in and um, I'm going to have her, oh my god, uh, I'm going to have her come in here and ask to speak to Charlotte because obviously she probably would have heard Charlotte come in. She would have been like, hi, um, you know, hi Charlotte. Um, and I imagine that Charlotte probably like would have either not replied or just been, you know, like sad um, in her reply. So I'm going to have her go in there and ask her what's wrong. Exactly. And with the mods, the issue is with the mods you've got, they like enhance the amount of like emotions that your sims have and the amount of moodlets. So in a normal sims game, they don't die all the time. But no, in, in a modded game, <laughs> you best believe that is turned off. <laughs> oh, she's crying. Oh, Charlotte, please get up. Oh, please. Okay, I'm gonna have her go and she's gonna, she's gonna ask her what's wrong. Um, I'm gonna have a go and first of all, give her a snoothy, a, snoo a soothing snuggle because she knows clearly that something's wrong. Why have they got to come out of the bedroom to do it? I don't understand this. <laughs> all right, let's give her, a, let's give her a hug. Oh, she's crying and she needs a hug from her mom. Oh no, sorry. Why is this, why is this interaction so sad as well? Look at her. Oh, she's crying. I wonder if she can actually like come out and tell her mum. Um, can I have her do that? 
Explain cheating situation. Yeah, we're gonna go in and explain the situation. Oh, sometimes life can be tough, tough, but you're not alone. I'm here for you. And now she's going in and telling her mum about the whole situation. Oh no! How did she take it? Wait, wait. I want to see what her mum said. Her mum said, "I can't believe it. Neva's just learned that someone that they're close to has been cheated on. What a sad mess." Oh baby. I wonder what, wait, I need to know what Neve thinks of, uh, of Raylan now. I need to know. Let me try and, um, let me try and give her another hug uh, as well. Does she have like a bad impression of Raylan now? Uh, oh, oh, she doesn't want another hug though. She, <laughs> she won't accept another hug. Oh my girl. <laughs> Neve should make her a hot beverage. I feel like Neve might uh, try and make her like favorite snack or something. Um, can she do anything else? I'm wondering. Must be snow bros. Affection. Complaints. Complain about her love life. Oh. <laughs> Don't tell Emiliano. I feel like Emiliano could very much potentially get arrested for murder in this situation. Oh, look at Eve. Oh, she was like, oh, I really thought he was, you know, an, a nice guy. Like, he he seemed so nice. Oh, I'm so sorry, Charlotte. Oh, okay. What what should uh what should Mama Neve make for her? What do you think would would cheer her up? We need to make her like a really nice snack, like one of her favorite snacks. Um, maybe milkshake or ice cream sandwich could be good, or like an appetizer maybe. What have we got that we could give her? Like ice cream, ice cream's good. We've also got marshmallow sticks, oysters, sweet treats board. Something with chocolate. Okay, hold on. Right, let me see if maybe we could do hmm, candy corn shake, strawberry milkshake. We've got a few different milkshakes here. Let me actually look in the baking section. We might actually have some bake something for her. Mm, let's do cookies and candies, maybe. Um, fudge bars, lemon bars, um, oatmeal cookies, peanut butter cookies, rainbow brownies, s'mores. S'mores are kind of good. Sugar cookies are good too. Ice cream is the food for breakups. That is true. Everyone eats ice cream after a breakup. <laughs> Those brownies. I think um, let's do let's do the cheesecake brownies. They look pretty good. Let's make those for her. Shorg. Hi, Nessa. Welcome in. I just popped in. I'm going to rewatch the whole thing because I don't know if I was super late. Have a wonderful stream. No worries. Thank you so much, Nessa. I love you and I appreciate you. Thank you so much. Oh, look at her coming downstairs being all sad. Don't worry about eating that waffle, though. I don't know where she's pulling these waffles out. Ooh, I'm going to put them away. I'm gonna put these away, too. Throw every... Oh, she keeps pulling all this random food out all the time. <laughs> Oh, I wonder how the kids' first day of high school went today. Uh, what's going on out here? Why is why is Graham upset? Someone call a doctor. All of my Sims at the minute have got um, all of my Sims have got like a little off, like as if they're sick. I don't know what's going on. Hi, Ever Dream. I have to go sleep. Have a great stream. Thank you so much. I hope you sleep well. Why are Reese and Emiliano always half naked? I don't know, but at least in the case of Reese, I don't think anyone's complaining. <laughs> Although he's kind of scared of the dog, which I don't know why, but it's so freaking cute. Um, I'm going to have him go uh, try and get some sleep, I guess, for now. And then we'll have Neve finish up with these brownies. Raylan probably gave them a disease because he's basically a plagued rat. <laughs> Uh. Emiliano has been in his underwear all day. Does he have a job? No, but we are gonna set him up to be a um, we're gonna set him up to be a uh, landlord at some point. We were thinking. Um. Okay. I'm gonna have her uh pick up a serving of it, 
and then we're gonna go and give it to uh to charlotte i think i should be able to give it to her as a gift where is she here she is let me give it to her as a gift it does look really cute doesn't it <laughs> okay then affection give gift give her a friendly gift we should just be able to give her the cheesecake brownies I'm sure Chad doesn't mind if he's in his undies all day. Oh, is she going to be happy that her mum made her some brownies? I hope so. There you go. Eat, eat your cheesecake brownie. Is she happy about that? Hold on. Also, let me get rid of her furious mood look because we don't need the, the cheated one now because she's just... She's relieved. Charlotte is feeling a sense of emotional release after confining in another sim. She feels lighter and less burdened by her troubles. Oh, I feel like her dad's going to notice something though. He's just sitting over here. She's not feeling as bad now. But he definitely noticed something was wrong. Um, so I kind of want him to go in and, you know, uh, have a deep personal conversation with her. I just want him to have like a, you know, like a father-daughter relationship and just tell her that, you know, that she, that he doesn't deserve her and that she's going to find the love of her life at some point. He's not going to ever do that to you, you know, like he doesn't deserve you. Don't let him make you think that you're any less than perfect. You know, the the sweetness. He's just, he's so cute. <laughs> I love that she feels better now that she got that rat off her back. Oh, a save reminder? Thank you for the save reminder. Let me go ahead and do that now. I don't want to don't want to miss out on all the drama that we've got. Also, tomorrow we're off to high school with the kids. So we need to do that and get prepped for that. Oh, she wants to cloud gaze with her dad. Oh, I kind of want to. I kind of want them to do that. Can they? Well, actually, it would be like stargaze, I guess, right now. But I guess we could, if she wants to. Um, influence to. No. Um. Let's. Uh. Can we stargaze? Star. Uh. What if I just type in gaze? No. Can they not? That's sad. Her dad is hot, Amy. <laughs> Not the time, babes. Not the time. <laughs> Emilio would be like, I'm just going to talk, but he brings a bat. <laughs> I feel like um, Charlotte definitely uh, would explain a little bit, but like not too much to her dad. Like she wouldn't go into full detail, but she is going to, she's going to tell him that, you know, that Sir, Raylan cheated on her. <sighs> no worries, Naomi. I hope you have oh, a nice dinner. Oh, they have to click on the ground. Oh, God. Emiliano's not happy about that, by the way. Oh, he's pissed. He is pissed about the Raylan situation. Oh, no. Okay, so because of this, I kind of imagine that her parents are both going to have, like, a negative feeling towards Raylan. So I'm going to give them, like, minus 30 towards Raylan. Um, the same with Neve. On Raylan, I'm going to do minus 30 as well. Yeah, minus 30. Uh, because now both of them are just not going to like him. You know, even though they haven't even spoken to him, they don't need to because their daughter's come home and told Watch them me. that he cheated on her. That's enough information. <laughs> oh. Imagine Neve when all Sweeney Todd inside making meat pies with Raylan. <laughs> okay, you go get some sleep. You're asleep. Charlotte, she finished her brownie. She can go on upstairs. I think she's talking to her brother right now. I think I think he's trying to make her feel a little bit better too. Um, I'm going to send him on off to sleep. And Ginger, she was in bed like long ago. <laughs> oh, did I do plus 30 with Emiliano? Did I? Ooh. Oh, I did. Hold on. Minus 30. Thank you. Oh. Here we go. <laughs> now they dislike him. I mean, he always knew that. He always knew that uh, Raylan was pretentious. So, hey, dad always knew. I feel like he would have said that to Charlotte as well and been like, I always knew he was the wrong one for you. I just didn't want to say it. <laughs> Mary! Lolly, love, lolly, love, lolly, love, thank lolly, you so love. much for three months together, my love. Thank you, thank you. Guys, you know what to do. Can we get some love in the chat for uh, Mary as well, please? Oh my God, Reese had a nightmare. Being stuck in a ladderless pool, unable to get out. Kind of absurd, really. Why would Reese just lift uh, himself out of the pool? Oh my God, are you kidding? Can you just try and get some sleep? <laughs> Hi, Sparkling Plays. Welcome in. Oh, you missed some drama. You missed some serious drama. Oh, he's scared. Oh, no. What does he want to do? Draw in the sand. View a piece of art. Um, okay, for now, why don't you just go paint a little bit? 
This is what happens when you smoke smoke too much, bro. Um, the YouTube live ended. Oh, it shouldn't have. It definitely shouldn't have. It should be fine. Um, guys, please, could we get a poll? Because we do have a redeem to kill off Raylan for 60k points. Do you guys think that we should go through with killing off Raylan? We'll do it in a realistic way if that's the case, though. But do we go off with killing Raylan or does Raylan live after the breakup? Could we uh, get a poll for that? Yeah? Hold on, let me, let me go and run a poll because I'm pretty sure... Uh, no, I'm, oh, I've been using the wrong, oh, guys, if it's been lagging for you, oh, I'm sorry. If it's been lagging, it's because I've been using the wrong screen recorder. I hate doing that. Ugh. Okay. <laughs> Drown him at the beach. Oh, you did the poll. Oh, thank you, Naomi. I thought you, I thought you were gone. I didn't want to, I didn't want to bother you. <laughs> okay, guys, if you can see it, go ahead and refresh the, uh, the stream. You'll see it in the chat if you do not. Do we... Do we kill Raylan? How do we do it? Let him live for the drama. I want to know whether you guys think he deserves to live or not. Well, not... But does he deserve to live after what just went down? I want to know. But I want to... If, if, he, if he goes, it's got to be a realistic way at least. Just came back after throwing some stuff in the air for <laughs> I say let him live because Charlotte will be more sad if he dies. Plus more drama if he lives. <laughs> YouTube live, um, YouTube live is still going on my side. Hasn't ended. Okay, good, 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 good. I was worried that that was a, that was happening. Okay, Reese, how is the the painting going? You can get some sleep now though. Emiliano High is a hitman. Honestly, he has the money too. So like, you know, maybe he just dies and suddenly everyone's so confused. <laughs> no, no, I don't think, I don't think Charlotte would kill him. Um, I couldn't see Charlotte killing him anyways. I think if Raylan dies, it's natural causes. Um, you know, I don't think it's like that Charlotte kills him. Um, I don't think it would be like that. <laughs> yeah, I mean, to be honest, I definitely want Reese to beat him up, like, before he dies. <laughs> oh my god, girl, where's your clothes? Baby, where are your clothes? Why are you walking around naked? Also, make sure you have a shower as well. Okay, so 63% of you guys say death to Raylan. Okay, could we please... Um, could we please redeem the, uh, I'm pretty sure it would just go through, right? We don't actually have to redeem it. So in the next episode, I'll kill Raylan off because I want to install the extreme violence mod before that because, uh, I want some stuff to go down, but, uh, Raylan will die. Can confirm Raylan will be, will be a goner, but it's just not going to happen like immediately, you know? Um, also I'm going to have Neve wake up and make some, uh, breakfast for the kiddos. Let's do um let's do some, maybe not pancakes um okay breakfast let's do eggs and cereal maybe instead um the full fry up oh that kind of sounds good spinach frittata let's do spinach frittata and put these away why is reese eating that in the morning <laughs> <laughs> Yes, cook us up a good murder, girly. It has to be good, right? We've got to, like, prep for it. I don't want to just randomly kill him off by something that's, like, no fun. Also, I kind of want to, like, be there for it. Like, I want to see it at least. <laughs> Maybe that's worse, but I do really want to see it. Everyone in the house is feeling a little off, though. Um. Oh, the kids have got school today. Um. I need to make sure they do their homework as well. So I'm gonna have Ginger get up. She's going to high school today. Oh, she's also just doing a little bit of self woohoo because she's feeling a little, uh, she's feeling a little spicy today. <laughs> yeah, first ish day of school. Technically they've already had their first day of school, but that's okay, that's fine. Um, I wanna know what outfit she's gonna pick for her, for her first day of school while we actually join her. Let's just say it's their first day of school. <laughs> Bam, 
All right, what outfit has she chosen today? Oh, she hasn't actually chosen one. Okay, let's choose one for her. Um, her dresser is right here. Change into, let's go with, um, let's go with this outfit. This one's really cute. Oh, she can't get to it, that's fine. It's just there for aesthetics, I guess. <laughs> dresser every day, this one. Okay, this is the this is the outfit she has chosen for her first day of school, guys. Her first day. Is mom done with the breakfast yet? Oh, she is. Perfect. Right, let's serve up the spinach frittata. Everyone can come and grab a serving of it as well. There you go. So cute. I know. What's uh What's Graham wearing? Oh, uh, Graham is still in his pajamas. He hasn't even. He hasn't <laughs> even got dressed yet. Ginger has the best fashion sense. She looks so freaking good, doesn't she? She looks so cute. I love her. They grow up so fast. I know. I can't wait for her to meet everyone at high school today, though. It's going to be so fun. Um, She hasn't done her homework, though, so I really feel like she should. So I'm going to have her do her homework. We will have her um write an English paper, I think. What are other things she wants to do? Cook an excellent meal. Eat and learn an experimental dish. And she wants to go rock climbing. Oh, that's fun. That's fun thing for her to do, actually. Oh, my God. Who's having babies? I need to know. Anyone? Danny? Audrey? Um, Lucios? Okay, no one that I know is having children. Just need to, just need to double check that. <laughs> she takes after her mum. She does, doesn't she? Okay, Graham? Oh, no. Graham's ha have suffering from acne. Oh, is he? Oh yeah, he's got he's got his first little first little spots. Um, okay, I'm gonna take him to go and have a quick shower. Spread rumors about woohoo and stargaze with ginger. Oh, he's cute. Oh no, it's Halloween today. Oh, they they still get to uh they still get to go off to school, right? Yeah, they still go to school today. That doesn't stop them going. Good. Watch Charlotte post, get ready with me while I tell you how I found out my boyfriend was cheating on me. Oh, actually, um, if Ginger manages to, we could have a work on a YouTube video before, um, before, actually, we could just have a post on our socials and talk about her going to school today. So, social, um, I'm just gonna add a, add to her, add to her Instagram story. What mods get rid of their acne that is stuck on their face when they age up? I actually don't know because uh, it's not working for me anymore. So I'm really not sure. Um, I couldn't work it out. The mod that I had w before, uh, yeah, it's just not working anymore. So Maybe this is a good time for Charlotte to go traveling after she's got cheated on. You know what? I was actually thinking the exact same thing. I feel like it would be perfect for her to, to get out and, you know, go and do a little bit. How do you make your Sims look so good? Uh, lots of CC. <laughs> like gigabytes worth of CC. Oh, no. <laughs> okay. That is so unnecessary, Charlotte. Okay. Just because you're upset because your boyfriend cheated on you does not mean you need to go tip this up. Like, come on, please. There. Right. Where is Graham? Okay, Graham got dressed. Great. Ginger's in the middle of doing her homework. I'm going to have her stop right now, though. Add to her Instagram story first. Yes, queen. Look at her with her little, like, first day of high school fit. That's so cute. Oh, my God. She gained 12 followers. Good job, girl. Very impressive. Uh, she has no videos yet. I wonder if... Uh, wait, hold on. A fashion... When does she start school? She's only got 30 minutes. It's not going to be enough to record the video. I was really hoping we could write her, you know, like a... a or, uh, you know, do a video of her. Um, like our first day of school, but that's fine. Continue writing the English paper, I guess. Thank you, Sam. Yeah, if you find one that's actually working, please let me know. Because, uh, yeah, the last one's just not working out for me. Uh, Graham is changed, isn't he? Yeah, yeah, he's changed. <gasps> okay, we're going. Select which students to follow. Ginger and Graham. 
Let's go. First day of school. I can't wait for you guys to meet all the Sims that I've made. I've literally given makeovers. Not not all of the Sims that are at the high school are made over. So there might be some that are looking a little, little funky, but the rest look great. I also will probably need to add in more seats in the classes because otherwise people are going to be sitting on the floor. So we'll have to do that too. Oh, Charlotte probably can post on Social Bunny about being cheated on. Yeah, she probably could. I wonder if she should. I wonder if she should start posting out like cryptic messages, you know? Like about being cheated on. <laughs> yeah, when she comes home, I might have her record like, you know, like what she wore on her first day of high school. I feel like that would be good. Okay, we are here. Yeah, you see, you see what I mean? You see what I mean, Carla? You're, you're the person I'm talking about right now. You, you are her. Where's all the rest of the kids as well? They better already be inside. Okay, come on in. Let's go. Let's go get sorted. So, the high school guys. I spent so freaking long trying to get a mod to work. There is a mod called Zerbu's um, Venue Changes mod or something like that. Where you should be able to add a high school in a different world. Which I did actually get working. And I even uh, had this, uh, you know, like what I would imagine to be an Italian high school, right? I placed it in. I got it all set up. But it didn't work. Um, because you can't customize the students that are in the school. For some reason, it just doesn't work. And it was really upsetting. So none of the students that I wanted to turn up, turned up. So, um, yeah, that's fine, I guess. We're just, we're having it in Coppadal. We're just imagining it's in Tartosa. So just imagine that it's in Italy right now. Okay, guys, just, just imagine. Uh, Sims is all about your imagination, okay? <laughs> Right, uh, first things first, we need to study for their exams, but we also have, oh, she's already friends with Terry. Oh, okay, yeah, this is one of her, her school friends that, um, there's a mod for that, I know. So I already have the mod where you can pick, you know, what Sims. It doesn't work when you have the other mod that sets the high school up. So I was hoping that I could choose what Sims turn up and, you know, um, and do it like that. But unfortunately you can't, I don't know why. Very annoying. Very, very annoying. Anyways, right, let's go ask about her day. Uh, ask about his day, sorry. This is, uh, this is Terry. She already knows him from elementary school. They actually went to school with each other. So she already knows this guy. Um, I gave him a little makeover. And she also thinks that he's very attractive, by the way. <laughs> Hi, Emily. Welcome in. How you doing? Oh, who's this guy? I haven't said hello to him. Uh, Lucian Richards. He might need a little makeover, but that's okay. I don't know what she thinks of him. That's fine. Can we go over and talk to Terry now? Oh, uh, okay. All right, babes. All right. That's that's strange. You don't do that with people that you've just met. Okay. Listen, we need to we need to learn to set some boundaries. Okay. <laughs> oh my goodness. Oh, I'm not gonna start. Right. Can we just come over and talk to our friend that we already know, please? <laughs> Why do I still start slow down? How is it that the Sims always manage to like ruin something? It's just feeling it today. She's just getting lessons for prom. She's just like in her own world. Oh, what's this? Oh! Is anybody else reading that? Is anyone else reading this? They look so cute together. Vicky, stop. Okay, stop. Oh my God. I can't believe it. Okay, yeah, one, that Yara's taking Charlotte's sloppy seconds. And two, that she was like, hey, girly, yeah, of course. You know, like, I've, you know, I've got no problems. I can help you out. But yet, she's like, oh, yeah, I'm moving with Raylan literally the day after you guys break up. Go lie, there's more to it. Do you think? Do you think there's more to it? Mm, I need to know. I need to know. So, has Raylan actually slept with Yara? And it's actually, like, more serious? There's no way that they moved in after she just kissed him. There's no way. 
okay, her and Terry are getting on. They, I mean, she already knows Terry, so that's kind of expected. Um, we need to go study for her exams. Um, okay, I'm really disappointed because I had that mod installed and all of the custom sims should have turned up, but they haven't. Like, none of these are sims that I made. I, I literally tested this mod out just earlier and it was working. And now none of the students that I set to turn up have turned up. Like, why? I literally set so many of them to turn up and they're not here. I'm so sad. Okay, I might have to, like, fix it and then maybe they'll turn up tomorrow or something. I don't know. I knew it. She definitely came onto Rayland. <laughs> Did you really suspect it? Oh, I need to have them uh, set up their uh, lockers as well. Let's do this one for Ginger. To be fair, Raylan did propose to Charlotte after like a month of dating, so he he's he's quick. He's quick with it. I don't know why though. <gasps> Naomi with another gifted sub. Oh, thank you so much for being so generous, my love. Oh, uh, uh, we've already started. Um, if we could get some love in the chat for Naomi as well, please, guys, that would be that would be lovely. Oh, okay, she's claimed it. We do need to go ahead and decorate it, but it's fine for now. I'm gonna have her go up to class. All the sims that I made. I literally checked this before I started playing today. And I added in loads of sims that I gave makeovers to. Like, I don't even know who these sims are. Like, they weren't even on the list to turn up. I have no idea why these sims are here. Like, who are these? This behavior is not giving women supporting women. Especially on International Women's Day. It's disgusting. I'm sorry. Where's our teacher, too? Oh my god, what's going on with this with the school today, guys? What's going on? <laughs> oh, our teacher came in. Yep, only like 10 minutes late. Don't even worry about it. Oh my god, maybe Yara is pregnant and they moved in together to raise the kids. No, you did not. Oh my god. Hi, Devadis. Welcome in. How are you doing? That, that is actually crazy, though. That would be crazy. Oh, she's cold. I wanted her to wear just like her everyday wear, though. I just wanted to wear this outfit. I'm hoping she's not going to get too cold in it, though. <laughs> she's giving Disney Channel with that hat. Yeah, I kind of just wanted her to wear a normal outfit, but I guess it's fine. Uh, Show and Kel, thank you so much for the gifted sub. Welcome in. Guys, please, can we get some love in the chat for Show and Kel? Um, watch you will get a notification that they have a kid. No. Oh no, Graham does not seem to be having a good time. He now dislikes acting, he dislikes painting, and he dislikes photography. He's having such a bad time in this class that he now, oh wait, hold on, what's this? Graham just finished writing a seller blog post about his favorite hobby, but it doesn't seem like it was very well received. Maybe it's time to brush up on those blogging skills. And now he's pissed off and he's in this class and it's made him hate those those things. Well, that's kind of sad. <laughs> well, he's never going to go into anything like that later on, is he? <laughs> you know what? I hope Yara finds out that Raylan tried to blame everything on her. Oh my god, wait, you might have started something. So maybe I set Charlotte up to go and see her. And then we basically explained what went down. That would be so good. <laughs> oh, the drama that could come along with the situation. I love it. Okay. Right, we are done. Um, so we're, we're on lunch. We need to be friendly with a faculty member. I'm gonna have her go and say hello to a to a teacher, Vance. Um, I'll have her just go and give him a friendly introduction. And Graham uh, wants to do something similar. I'll have him go say hello to the principal, uh, to May. Go and be friendly. Okay, has she done it? Yeah, and now she can just enjoy her lunch. Right, uh, let's go use the toilet over here. There we go. What is the name of the height mod? It's called the Gradual Height Slider mod. Um, I don't know who it's made by though. It's just called the Gradual Height Slider mod. If you look it up, it should come straight up though. It's a Patreon. No, not Patreon. Mod, mod the Sims, I think. Something like that. Yeah, I think it's Mod The Sims page. I may be the only one that thinks this, but Graham has what? Hold on, has what? What does Graham have? I need to know. I'm also gonna try and have Graham make some friends. Jameson over here. It's a bit sad that all of these kids that are here, 
none of them are the kids that I made for them to meet. Like, I'm so disappointed I made all these cute kids and gave them all, like, ideas and backstories. But Very it's fine for now. I'm just going to have him introduce uh, um, himself to Jameson, I guess. And I guess we'll do the same to Terry. Oh, he already knows Terry. Doesn't like Terry either. Great, good start. Anyways, go grab some food, I guess. <laughs> Did you make uh, groups with the new teens? I didn't, because I wanted them to meet and get first impressions with each other on the school day. Like, I don't understand. It was working. I literally, like, set this up, played a day of them going to school, and then, you know, like, didn't save the game. So I, I know it's working, like, or it should be. Um, hmm. Ooh. Okay, these are sporty, preppy. I feel like I should go with a preppy. Okay, what does that look like? Uh, do you guys think that locker would be good for Ginger? What do you think? I'm also going to have Graham take a locker next to her as well. What does he want to do? Start juice fizzing. And he wants to skip class. Why is Graham being so... Oh, God. He wants to skip class. I kind of want him to. I kind of want him to go home and play games instead. I wonder if he'll get caught by his mum and dad, though. Oh, you think Dark Academia? Let me try that one. Let me try that. Hold on. Uh, okay, I'm going to need to turn that off. Um, we just had a bot follow, by the way, guys. We had, like, loads and loads of follows from bots that had just come in, so. Um, okay, let me try Dark Academia for her. Oh, okay. No, that one, that one definitely works more. Okay, that one's good. And then, do we have like a gamer because he's really into gaming? Yeah, gamer decorations. Yeah. Uh, let's do that one for him. Oh, yeah, that's good. Okay, I love that. Right. So for our girl, um, I kind of imagine that in like her off like time, she'd come up here, and I even added in a kitchen because I imagine that she takes like cooking classes. Um, so I kind of want her to come in here and like practice cooking. So I might have her um, cook. Let's do um, let's do some breakfast. No, actually, let's just do a meal, a dinner meal. Uh, let's do something with soups and salads. Not gonna lie, I too want to skip class most of the time, but I can't be in the teacher at all. <laughs> oh, I love that. Um, what should we learn to make? Let's learn to make um hmm spicy ramen tomato soup yeah let's do a classic tomato soup we need some cute teachers i mean i was really hoping you guys were gonna get to see all these really cute sims that i had in mind but it's okay i'm gonna check maybe because i added too many sims in there that that's the reason it's not working i don't know i'm not sure in the meantime for graham though I really wanted him to find some friends. Oh, he knows this Adeline girl. He's quite good friends with her. Oh, has he already got a friend? Oh my God. I think he might have a friend. Okay, interests. Discuss latest games. I wonder if she'll be interested in that. Let me go see. She seems cute. I wonder if she plays games. Oh, he's hugging her. They're on hugging terms? Hi, bum. Welcome in. How you doing? I hope you're good. Argue about video games? Oh, does she like games? Oh, I need to know now. Interests. Um, let's discuss their interests. Oh, they're gonna go sit down with each other. Oh, and Sharla is. Oh, look at her cooking up here. I love it. Practicing her cooking skills while she's at school. How's the tomato soup? Let's see it. And of course, uh, you're on lunch, so it's the perfect time to taste it. Put it down. Look at it! What do we think? Her first ever tomato soup. It's monumental. I think we need to take a picture of it. I think I think these are the type of pictures that we put on our social media. Let <laughs> I me mean, take a photo. Oh, did I say Charlotte? Oh God, forget about it. <laughs> forget, everyone forget. <laughs> oh yeah, that looks good. Okay, let me just get a few different shots of it. Yeah, that looks good. 
I was gone for a second. Why is she cooking in the school? She like, you know, like I kind of imagine her. I, I do want to sign her up for like a cooking class at some point. Um, so I kind of do see her like coming in here and practicing cooking. She does like cooking classes in general. So don't worry. One day we'll get your name right. <laughs> oh, she does want to finish her homework. She's an overachiever. Oh, of course she is. Okay, I'll um I'll make sure that she finishes our homework today as well. Um, I also might have her stay on and study for the exams. They've got exams on Friday. Graham, I feel like he's just not really interested in, uh, in school that much. We've got Billy over here. Let's go say hello to this guy. Oh, he's in the Rebel Rousers. So everyone's kind of like in individual groups. I'm wondering what group he's in. Um. He's in the Artist Collective. Okay, I don't really see him being in the Artist Collective. I'm wondering if there's like more of a, a nerdier group. Um, actions. Mm. First impressions, family connections. Can I give him a different group? Oh, I have to do it in here. Graham equals Brian. I remember when I used to say that. Oh no. Um, okay, where is it? Actions. AP Pindigo mod. It's in Korea. Artist, artist collective, but he doesn't like painting or photography. Exactly, that's what I would say. It does not make sense. Um. Is it in here? Oh, AD Pindigo mod. Here we go. Yeah, dynamic teen life. I want to choose a social group for him. Okay, where do we see Graham sitting? So, okay, Graham is a geek and he's squeamish. So he likes to, you know, like he likes to play a lot of games. Doesn't really say anything about him specifically liking school, but I feel like he'd, yeah, I feel like he'd go more towards nerd brains. I agree. I'll put him in the nerd brains. Now, who is in the nerd brains? Oh, he has bad compatibility with this girl. Yeah, he's just not going to get on with her. Uh, Jameson? Nothing about him. I want to figure out who's in... Let me talk to this Simon guy. He's... Oh, he's in the artist collectives. This is really difficult. Harley. Rebel Rousers. Terry. Floaters. <laughs> Jameson Floaters and I think he's also in the computer team oh okay let's go ask about that because he would probably want to join that actually I'm all right, sir. that's what I was thinking his friendship's really high considering that he has bad compatibility with this girl but I don't know got no idea um is Ginger Ginger still trying her soup put the soup away Actually, we could bring it home. I'm going to take it in our inventory so we can... Oh my God, look at the pictures of her soup. It's so cute. <laughs> oh, I love that. We need to post that to her Instagram. Um, right, let's just go to our next class now. Um, oh, I need to check what group uh, Ginger is in. Like what sort of social group. It says right now that she is in the floaters. So they float between other social groups and amongst themselves. And sometimes are loners. They aren't defined by one label or group. What do we think? Would she be in that or not? Where do we kind of see her being? What group? Like what social group? Um... Uh, actions? Yeah. Easy pin to go. Dynamic. Choose social group. She could move. The other ones that they've got are nerd brain, cool llamas, good work. Artist collective. I mean, cooking is kind of like artsy, so it could be. I'd say maybe we keep her in the floaters right now, but maybe she leans more towards joining like the cool llamas eventually. Yeah, like as she like meets more, you know, more people. Because I think right now, all of the people that are really here are not people that she knows that much. I kind of see her, you know, like maybe today when she's come to school, um, she hasn't seen a lot of her friends, but like maybe tomorrow when she comes to school, when I fix the mod, she'll see her friends. You know what I'm saying? She'll, she'll see all these people that we have in mind. Oh my God. Graham now likes nature enthusiasts. Hallelujah. <laughs> oh, 
She seems like someone who wants to try and achieve a lot, so Flosis would be good. Yeah, it's true. Lauren, would growing together be the top pack you recommend for anyone who likes family gameplay? Yes, 1,000%. If you like family gameplay, uh, it is the, one of the first ones to get. 1,000%. As long as you've got that in Seasons, you like, yes, you're, you're set, you know? Because there's a lot of stuff that comes with Seasons too. Then there's a lot of like additional things if you play family gameplay. I'd also recommend High School Years. Uh, high School Years can be a bit buggy and it can, also can be a bit boring, but it's really important for things like this. You know, when you want to play with your teens and like build their, you know, like purpose up and their personalities, it's needed. And the same thing with Discover University. So they're like kind of all like top of the line for me personally. Parenthood, yeah. Cats and Dogs is good, obviously. Family Gameplay also includes animals. Uh, you know, animals are, animals are also included in that. Graham goes on a skiing vacation and talks to one person who thinks it's cool and decides, yes, these are my people. <laughs> it's because he really liked that girl and she was just, he was, she was just not interested. Ginger was about to start dozing off when another student passes her a note and points at another student. Ginger didn't even know passing notes was still a thing with social media and phones. Does Ginger continue the note chain or maybe add some changes to the note? What does she do, guys? Does she just... Do, is she i feel like this question it's kind of like there's an underlying meaning to it is she a sheep or is she a leader a sheep would be someone that would just pass the note on is she a leader does she add changes where do we see her do we see her as a sheep or do we see her as a leader she's a menace she should change it Okay, most people are saying add some changes. All right, let's add some changes. Ginger adds a few scribbles she thought would cause a laugh, but then no one was happy about it. All Ginger got for her addition was a little extra irritation from her classmates. Oh no, do all of her... Oh my God, her classmates don't like her anymore. What a good first day. Oh no, whatever the classes that she had today, like the with these kids, it's, it's not going well, guys. <laughs> what class did she just have? Computer science. This is definitely more of Graham's bag. Okay, so... It makes sense, okay? It makes sense. <laughs> yeah, okay. We, we can understand that one. That's fine. Oh, people, like, don't like... <laughs> oh, Graham impresses teachers and Ginger impresses teachers and learned a lot today. Okay, nice. Well, I was actually going to have Ginger stay for the study lesson, especially since she's an overachiever. But today is actually Halloween. And out of all the days, why has it got to be Halloween? I feel like we should have a costume party but also do we throw it at home i really wish we had a hall or something to throw to throw the party at like i really wish i could set up like a you know like a proper hall and have everybody go there for it's a good thing these are temporary students until you add the real ones <laughs> yeah because she, she's not getting on with these ones anyways oh one thing that i do want to definitely do though is add a thermostat in the uh, school i did that on like my test today but i realized it didn't save um because i don't like it when sims feel the need to like keep getting changed the rec center but then i feel like the rec center would need to be in tartosa you know like to make sense um, I'm just gonna, before I send her home, I'm just gonna have her turn the heat up in the school as if she has full control over the thermostat in the school. Love it. Oh, maybe a house party at one of her classmates. That would be so good. So the only one that I know definitely has a house is Terry, but Terry lives in an apartment. So it's going to be no good to throw, a, to throw a party there. Also, he lives with like eight different people. So that's going to be, that's going to be a lot. We might need to set it up for like the next episode. We've got so much to do for the next episode, but we might need to set it up so that, um, so that in the next episode we go and we do the, the Halloween party at one of her friends. That could be cool actually. I was thinking about doing it as a family Halloween party, but I think I'd, I think I want to start focusing more on Ginger. You know, as much as I love all the rest of the family and they're fun, but I need to start focusing on Ginger because she's our L. So. <laughs> Maybe it's like she hears about it in the hallway and just shows up because no one invites her. No, no, I kind of imagine she's got one really good friend who she already knows, Terry. I kind of imagine Terry would invite her along. So it'd kind of be like an open invitation to everybody in the high school, you know, who knows everyone. So it'd be like, if you're in Terry's class, you could go along. Like, I feel like that would make sense, you know? 
Doesn't Ginger look so good in this fit? She does. She looks so cute, doesn't she? In her little winter wear outfit. I love it. Um, Graham, is he on his way home? I think he's going around the back, actually. Because what, imagine, what we're trying to imagine is that this high school is supposed to be in Totosa. I know it doesn't look like it, but the issue is I couldn't, you know, work out enough mods to get it to work. So what, you, what we're imagining right now is this school is still in Italy. Like this whole, you know, like let's play of this family is all themed like and set in Italy. So uh, I know it's I know it's really annoying, but I also feel like all the lots that I go to, all the houses that I go to should also be in Italy or Totosa of what I imagine would be Italy. You know, like I don't know why, but for the realism. <laughs> I, I have to have everything like this. I'm so like, such a perfectionist when it comes to the gameplay, but. It looks American though. Can, can you just not though? Can you just not? Can you just imagine that it's it's Italian, okay? I didn't have enough time to build my own Italian styled high school. So I had to pick the most Italian looking high school. There was no options, okay? They're all American looking or uh, Japanese looking. That's the only two I could find. <laughs> Let's say it's an international school. <laughs> yeah, that's what it was, definitely. Um, oh, I need to put that spinach frittata away. Um, where do you get the gifted author and attracted to masculine sim traits? So the gifted author trait comes with the uh, talents and weaknesses mod by Lumpinu and the attractiveness comes with uh, Wicked Whims. It's okay, Lauren, I do that too. Like when I'm taking my Sims out, they can only go in to uh, two worlds, which look similar. Yes, exactly. Cause I kind of imagine like each world is a different place. So you can't be like having your Sims live in Tartosa and then like on the odd day, they head over to like Arizona in America. Like it just, you know, like it just doesn't make sense. And I, I need it to make sense. It has to make sense for me. How different is an Italian high school from American? I'm from Texas. I feel like, in general, uh, European schools would just be substantially different. Um, okay, yeah, so this is the mod that I'm using for the high school classmates. So I'm wondering if maybe I added in too many of the high school classmates and that's the reason that not all of them showed up today. So I'm just gonna like remove a few of them. <laughs> I'm just gonna remove this top line and maybe you two. And then maybe it will make room for the edited classmates that I added in. You know? You two, you've got to go. Also, you look like you're like 80. Not looking like <laughs> you should be in this school. <laughs> Remove the ugly ones. That sounds awful. But the, the non-CC'd ones, okay? But it's a nicer way of saying it, Naomi. <laughs> All right. Maybe that will be better. I'm hoping that that will make it easier to, for them to meet the other kids at school. You are the weakest link. Goodbye. Absolutely. Okay, guys, I'm going to go ahead and end tonight's episode off. We actually did hit two hours. I was kind of hoping to do the Halloween party here, but it's fine because we can save the Halloween party for next episode. That way we can meet the new kids um, and imagine that, you know, like she's meeting them. She hasn't actually been in class with them, but she knows a friend and they've invited her, you know, and she turned up. So we can do the whole meeting of all the classmates there. Um, and then I'm hoping in the next episode when we actually go to high school, it should work. I'm going to play test it and make sure it is working for the next episode and then it should be good. But I'm going to leave off with our baby. She looks so cute here. Um, so thank you guys very, very much. Oh my God, I'm still, I can't believe I've still got the, um, I've still got the, the dog bath. <laughs> the dog died like a really long time ago at this point <laughs> and I've still got a dog bath out of the front. <laughs> Anyways, just ignore that. Just, just pretend that's not like that. Anyways, um, yeah, I love you guys so much. Thank you so much. Um, I had the alerts turned off for the rest of the stream because we actually did get a bot raid. Um, or sorry, a bot like follow spam. So we had like hundreds of follows that were like all bot names. Um, so yeah, if you uh, if you subbed or anything, like since then, I'm sorry if it didn't come up. Uh, I just didn't want it to like to spam the chat with that. So I'm gonna go ahead and end today's stream off here. I love you guys so much. I hope you enjoyed the tea that was spilled today. Um, in the next episode, we should also have some more tea spill when Charlotte goes to her first party with her friends. 
for Halloween. It's going to be so exciting. She's going to bring her brother along, of course. I'm going to make sure that both of them are there. So it's going to be fun. So I love you guys. If you did enjoy today's episode, remember to go ahead and leave a like. Subscribe it down below if you are new. And let me know what you thought of today's episode. Um, and make sure you go ahead and follow me on my other socials or link below as well. And I will speak to you all in the next one. Bye, guys.